Yo, what up, what up? Jeff Joseph back with another video, man. Listen, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But before I do, shout out to y'all, man. I haven't posted a video in so long, and y'all still be commenting. Y'all still showing love. Y'all still in my DMs asking questions. And I'm here for it, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the love and support. So shout out to y'all. So here I am back with another video. Just want to give y'all a quick update on what I've been up to as well as answering some of the questions that I've been getting. So yeah, let's just get into it. So what have I been up to? I ain't been doing nothing. Now nah, playing. I've been, one of the biggest things I got engaged. I don't know if y'all saw that video, but I actually recently got engaged to the love of my life. The most beautiful woman I have ever met and ever known. And I've uh, been kind of focused on getting her YouTube videos and YouTube content off the ground as well. Tell your, tell your girls, tell your wives, tell your old ladies to go subscribe to at Taylor Fo. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm hearing it. Videos are really fucking love. <laughs> But yeah, man, other than just trying to get her YouTube page off the ground, um, ain't really been doing too much for the content stuff. But I will start making more videos for y'all soon. Uh, YouTube basically said I have to. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start making some more videos. But uh, other than that, I'm working as an administrator uh, at a local college in New Orleans. As y'all know, when I started my box truck company, um, I told y'all that my background was in clinical psychology, so kind of put no skills to use. I'm pretty happy and content, but I will say this, I do miss box trucking. I miss the independence of like being on the road and just being free and just kind of like day by day, just figuring it out. You know, that was exciting. Although it was frustrating at times, it was definitely exciting. And, uh, you know, I do miss that aspect of it. The biggest question that I have been getting is am I getting back into the box truck business? And the truth is, y'all, I really, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, <laughs> I do miss it, but I don't see myself getting back into the box truck business anytime this year because it's so up and down, right? Which leads me to the next biggest question that I have been getting. Is the box truck industry dead? It, it's, it's not good. <laughs> I'll say that. It's definitely not good. And it's pretty obvious that trucking industry as a whole is in a recession i ran into one of my buddies and he basically when i asked him how his trucking company was doing he was like jeff it's sometimes it's unbelievably good and then sometimes it's unbelievably bad and so what i got from that is it's just up and down up and down up and down but um it's definitely in a recession and for me personally i can't see myself getting back into the box truck industry anytime soon until like it's on an absolute upward trend which we may never see again or we may never you know be able to predict when that will happen and by the time it does happen it might be too late for new people to get in so i mean maybe now is the best time to get in you never know the election season's coming up not to say that i affiliate in any direction but I do recognize that the economy is not doing very well under this administration. I'm just going to leave it at that. Maybe that might make the difference and then I can decide. But um, as of right now, I really I don't know. Uh, but I do think there's a lot of opportunity if you structure your business right. That's the biggest thing that I've been telling people when they ask me. It really comes down to how you structure your business right. You really have to structure it correctly. I talked to another buddy of mine and he was telling me, uh, that he's doing all right. He's 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 not necessarily thriving, but he is survival <laughs> or thriving. I don't know it's some weird term he used, but basically what he was saying is he's getting by. He's doing his thing because he has a fleet of trucks. He has over 40 trucks. He has like 40, 50 trucks, a combination of box trucks and semi trucks. He's able to do stuff that smaller companies like my company with one truck or two trucks can't do. If a company needs freight move and they need 10 trucks to move it by the end of the week, they don't have to deal with all the external people. They could just contract you with your 10 trucks to go do it, you know? So anyway, it all comes back to being creative and how you structure your business correctly. If you don't, if you got, you know, a crazy lease note, truck note, or a crazy insurance, you, chances are you're probably not going to do that well because it's so up and down. But if you are able to basically buy out a truck, buy a truck flat out, or, you know, if you're in an area where insurance is not crazy, which I don't know what that would be, 
you might be able to survive and you might be able to, to you know you might be able to to thrive in this economy but I, like again like I said I think that there's a lot of opportunity I think that if you get out there and you hustle you hustle hard I mean you can't just go out there and half-ass it like you really have to hustle you have to be over the road you really got to be going and get it and being creative as well you know you got to take all the opportunities that you can get you know with last you know the last mile um the furniture moving all that you really have to take you have to embrace every area of what box trucks are capable of doing if you're going to be successful if you want to be successful in a box truck the other thing that i want to talk about people have been asking me about the cost what is the cost now i've been telling people before like in my previous videos you can look back and i, I was telling people that you could probably get started for about five thousand dollars and that probably still is true today uh, the thing is, it goes back to what I've already just talked about, the structure, right? Like if you structure your business correctly, it's going to cost you some money, right? It can, you can set it up and you can set up and you could be on your way. You can get everything going for $5,000 and then potentially be in a situation where you have to shut it down because you're not making money or you can structure it the correct way, which is going to cost you a whole lot more money. It's going to cost you about $30,000 at a minimum to really do it correctly because the, the cost of trucks are so expensive because the market right people are capitalizing off these uh off every opportunity that they can you're not leaving nothing on the table so it's gonna cost you some money but again it all depends on how you structure it all depends on how you structure your business if you structure your business correctly you can definitely make some money in the box truck business and again another thing too is your area really matters right we already know that for some reason the midwest it's just booming. It's always booming. But if you're in the South like me, like I was telling y'all in my last video, it doesn't make sense because Louisiana and New Orleans really is just not a good freight city. It's just not. And so in order for me to make money, I would have to be in the Midwest. So I have to be over the road. And that's just something that I wasn't willing to do anymore. Like I told you, I just got engaged. You know, I was in a relationship. I was cultivating a relationship. I need to make sure that I was setting myself up for long-term success. Like, I couldn't just focus all my time and energy and wearing myself out, wearing my body out on a box truck just to get by with a couple thousand dollars, three, four thousand dollars when I can go to a job and make six thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars a month using the skills that I've already paid for <laughs> with through my degrees. So I had to make that decision. But um, at the end of the day, you have to make your decision, right? Your area, what area you're in matters the most. The last question that I've been getting a lot is, would I recommend somebody starting a box truck business? And truthfully, y'all, I cannot recommend starting a box truck business if I am not doing that said thing, right? <laughs> like maybe if you got the hustle, if you get creative, if you're able to structure your business correctly, if you got the startup cost, you got the money to do something, yeah, I would say go do it. There's opportunity out there, but but at the end of the day, I can't recommend starting a box truck business if I'm not doing it. But I will say that there is opportunity for you to get out there and make money in the industry. I'm not saying that it's dead, but it's definitely it's definitely not good. I don't really know what anybody else is saying out there, but the information that I have from what I'm able to see is really just not a good time to get into it. Maybe the next pandemic come around might be a good time you might only need five thousand it might need you you know you might be able to do that but as of right now mm, i don't know but that's it that's all i definitely appreciate y'all for tapping in and really rocking with me again if you have not already subscribed go ahead and do that i got some more videos coming and go ahead and tell your girls tell your wives tell your side pieces whoever <laughs> tell them to go and subscribe to my old lady channel at taylor Fo. um She's really doing her thing and we're trying to get her monetized as well. So she's going to take off and I would appreciate you supporting the campaign. It's going to happen. So I would appreciate you to help make it happen. If not, it's all good. It's all love. I'm still here for y'all. If you have any questions for me, you can definitely tap in, hit me up on my, uh, my Instagram and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. But for now, that's it. That's all I got. I'll catch y'all in the next video.